rear end is profoundly sore. Huh. I feel like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Perlin noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. Hold on, back up. What exactly are the Far Lands? Are you being serious? The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. Yeah, I'm starving. We all are. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Guys, we can't turn back now. Not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> People become kind of useless when they're hungry, huh? Everyone doing okay? Not really. We're starving. You're coming with me. It's not much, but it'll help. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. And they know these swamps far better than I. Let's get out of here. Good idea. <laughs> Guys! Jesse, did you find any food? Actually, yeah, some potatoes, but it'll have to wait. There's a witch nearby. We saw her creeping through the swamp. She's here! <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Watch out for her potions. and skeletons? That's a really bad combination. You're right. Her potions combined with their arrows? Oh, we'll all be killed. Everyone, this could be a really nasty fight. The rest of you, go! I'll hold them off. What? Ivor, no! There's no time to argue. Just head for the corner of the glitch wall. The what wall? Hey, you witch! You're not the only one who can throw a potion. Come on! Hold on to your potatoes! Guys, I think 
we lost them for... Wow! I see your wow and raise you a... It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. Hey, at least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. <laughs> Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory. So what am I looking at here, exactly? This is a natural phenomenon. The intersection of two of the great walls that form the boundary of our world. Very few have seen it in person. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. My fault. Should have seen that coming. Doesn't seem as scary as I imagined it. Huh? A little fear is healthy sometimes, Jesse. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if Axel and Petra were here. I know what you mean. Come on! Is this... a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. So, maybe we should not just wander into the world's hardest maze without a guide. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or... I don't know. There's no way we're going into some crazy maze that Ivor built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day. Flowers, but no trees. I guess it's a Farlands thing. Huh. We can probably climb these. Everyone! On guard! There's too many! We can't fight them all! <sighs> Guys! Caught in the vines! Well, that worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but now what? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there.
I first met Ruben near a waterfall like this. Hope the little guy's okay. Hey, that must be Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer. I think it's safe to say the Far Lands are strange. Shoot! You have got to be kidding me. Olivia! <laughs> Whew! 
Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. I don't see a way across. Stone blocks, some pistons. I wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <coughs> I thought I'd never find you. All those dead ends back there. Any sign of the others? Not yet. This maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Yet we're lost in some elaborate puzzle. Well, at least we're back together. Yes, the Dream Team reunited. <laughs> now the Dream Team's just gotta find a way across this gaping bottomless pit. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. Come on, you'll figure it out. You know you always do. <sighs> Fine. I'll take a look. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. I might as well be a carrot farmer. Who cares what she said? I do. She's the greatest redstone engineer ever. She's in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right. Just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. None of them give Eligard any respect. And Magnus lost his life trying to fight this. The Order can't do this. How are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? We're nobody. All I know is the world is depending on us. And maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Well, we won that building contest at Endercon. That was a contest, Jesse. 
Right, and the competition was stiff. Just think what we can do when there's nobody even watching. I like that way of looking at it. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so.